everyone, it's Lorelai here with another update to my game. As you can see, I've been a little busy. I mapped out the first cave region of my game, the first area. This is this is mana weed. <laughs> this is the bunny burrow that uh, that Deirdre, our main character, lives in. I attempted to make it look as burrowy as possible. Um, there's still a lot that I need to do, but I, I also need to take a step back and not focus on mapping right now and get my systems in check <laughs> uh, before I keep going. But I, I wanted to do something with the map. I wanted something pretty to look at while I was testing all of this out. So this episode is going to be about how I designed this ladder system. I wanted these ladders in the map because I wanted it to, again, look like a burrow and I wanted it to give it sort of a multiple layer kind of feel. Um, where you're going from the top layer all the way to the bottom layer. And that actually has to do a lot with uh, the culture of this bunny burrow. Uh, I put a lot of thought <laughs> into this bunny town that you're not even going to be in for very long. It's just for the introduction <laughs> before even the title sequence. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm putting in a lot of thought and I, I, I feel like I might be wasting time that could be spent elsewhere. But, you know, I'm having a I'm having a good time, you know, I'm having fun. So it doesn't really matter, I guess. So this freaking ladder system took ages to figure out. There were multiple iterations of me uh, trying to do it. I did follow a lot of tutorials about how to make a ladder, but none of those were kind of my system where it would go from one part of the map and then underneath the tile set to another part of the map. And actually, I see that I'm missing a corner here. <laughs> Let's fix that. <laughs> There we go. All fixed. <laughs> All better. Anyway, those tutorials did help me out quite a bit. I'm talking mostly about the Baz tutorials, B-A-Z. He's got a ton of videos for Pixel Game Maker MV that have been seriously saving my butt. If I did not have these tutorial videos, I don't think I would have gotten very far in this at all. But anyway, let's talk about this ladder system. So if I show you... It's finally the way I want it, and I really hope that uh, I don't have to change it. <laughs> but we'll see, right? During playtesting, we'll see. Uh, so you can see that if we go down, I, I go down, right? It's just, it's a simple ladder system. <laughs> uh, but unlike RPG Maker, where you can simply just say, hey, this tile is a ladder, do ladder stuff for me. Um, I had to program this ladder. And there's still some stuff I have to fix. Like, it's not very easy to get up on the ladder. And I think it's just because of the wall collision and the size of her collision versus the size of the of the tile. Uh, so that's something I'll fix, but I'll fix that later. It's it's not a big deal right now. Uh, but you can go up and down the ladder, and then when you get to the top, it automatically takes you through here. So you don't have to press the up button for this area. And the same with going down. That's all auto automatic until you get to the actual ladder part. Another cool feature that was part of the Baz tutorial was uh, Snap. So if you get close to, shoot, if you get close to it, I don't know if I'll be able to get close to it. Um, I, I just want to show you how she'll snap onto it. Snap onto the, uh, well, <laughs> I guess it's really uh, subtle. It's a really subtle effect, um, but you just have to take my word for it that if she's, if she's on... There we go. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, if she's on the edge of the ladder, she will, yeah, snap onto it so that she's in the center, which is pretty important. This ladder system was designed through just the tiles, so there's no objects, there's no uh, transitions. I did try portal transfer at first, but it wasn't doing what I want. Uh, it's just through the tiles, so I could put these tiles anywhere and it will have the same effect. Right. It'll it'll still be a ladder, <laughs> which is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to have ladder tiles that I can put on another map or anywhere on this map and it will work. If I want to move the tile, say I want to move this tile over to the left and move this one over so it matches, uh, I can do that without having to reprogram anything. And that was that was important to me. Ease of use, I guess. <laughs> The only important thing is that it is lined up perfectly. So let's go into the nasty nitty gritty of that object, which actually doesn't look that bad. <laughs> so this is my my playable character, uh, Deirdre, uh, the ladder 
logic is all in this little group here and it's it's not that bad honestly so the first thing we have is to check if she's walking i can't imagine a situation where you would be idle and then suddenly go to the to the ladder you know what i mean so she's really going to be walking because walking is if anything is pressed so if she's walking right and here's the condition um first either up or down is pressed and then this is the important part the the variables we're using the variable area detection, which is uh, here, <laughs> which is right here. This acts similar to RPG Maker's terrain tags, I believe, uh, where you can go into your tile set and give the tile a number depending on where the object is. Does that make sense? So, <laughs> um, so for example, this tile is the ladder going down. So when object overlaps this tile or the player group, not the enemy group, because then enemies might be going down and up the ladders and I think that would be a little weird. So <laughs> when the player group uh, overlaps this tile, then I'm going to assign a number to the object's area detection variable. So the player, in this case, Deirdre's area detection variable. And this is the number six. And I have a few numbers here. I have seven, this is the top of the ladder. Uh, the tippy top rather <laughs> uh this is also the top um but going down right this is six and then we've got five is the top of the bottom ladder four is the filler tile of the ladder and then three is the bottom of the bottom ladder so three through seven is is the important are the important numbers so if i go back to object if the player is walking and up or down is pressed, and they are either on six or four, which is six or four. So if they are on one of these two tiles, then they're gonna do what I called a ladder snap. And this is from the Baz tutorial. It's also from a sample project within Pixel Maker MV, uh, this guy. And uh, Baz explains all of this in his tutorial. And I basically just copied this entire equation here. Uh, what this does is it checks where your character is on the map, um, their pixel coordinates, uh, and then it will find what tile they're on. So because the character walks, uh, it's pixel movement, um, unlike RPG Maker where you're walking tile by tile through the grid, this is pixel movement, so it's a little different. Um, this, equa this equation is looking at their pixel location, their pixel coordinates rather, and then doing math <laughs> to figure out what what um, tile coordinates they're at or, or something like that. And then it moves that character uh, to what uh, that tile is. And I don't get it, but I don't have to get it. <laughs> it works and that's what's, that's what's important. <laughs> so, uh, so that's what ladder snap is. So if they are walking and up and down is pressed and they are on this tile or this tile, then they will snap. They will snap to this tile. Okay. Uh, after they're snapped, there's two things. They can either go ladder down hole, <laughs> down the top hole, uh, or they can stop. And so ladder down hole is, let's see here, if it's six. So this one is, is automatic. So if their variable is six, if their area is six, if they are here, that means they will automatically go to ladder down hole. And ladder down hole is a move root. If you're using RPG Maker, it's a move root basically. And I don't know if I did this right, uh, this move root, but it's working. So <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but here she has her animation where she gets to uh, walk up and down the ladder, which was fun to make. It's basically just me moving the arms. That's all I did. I've got set move, direction, and move. So set down, go down, <laughs> and then like move in that direction. It was very, it was very bizarre uh, getting this to work because sometimes she would just go up or like it was weird. <laughs> and I have ignore move input, ignore direction change during motion. So this, this kind of locks her into just going down. Okay, so she's just going down. Also, she's, she's turning transparent. 
All right. And this is really nice because it automatically does it for you. Time until completion, uh, 0.2 seconds to 100% transparency. So it gives it a nice blend into transparency as opposed to just suddenly not uh, being there anymore, like sudden transparency. So that's really cool. A lot of these are actually really cool and I can't wait to play with them uh, simply because you don't have to manually say, OK, turn transparent in the first frame and then turn to, uh, you know, 255 transparency and then 240 and then 230 and then you go, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> if you don't, then then forget it. It's whatever. Uh, but I really like that the program does it for you is my point. Uh, and then I've got this template move. And it's just I, I put it to bound. I don't I don't know. And um, ignore wall detection and ignore tiles wall detection. So that means that she when she's going down, um, she will go through the tiles. Yeah, she'll go through the tiles. <laughs> and that's what this is. This just says match move direction. It just says go down. OK. And I didn't want to specify movement distance because, again, uh, these tiles can be used anywhere on the map. That's what I wanted is to be able to move move the tiles, move the ladders around so that it can be a really long ladder or a really short ladder and it wouldn't matter. So um, just this action would have her move down forever. That's what would happen until I added this little condition. So when she hits uh, the area detection of four... So four is this one, right? So when she goes down here and she's going down, 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 and she hits four, she's going to stop. And that's why it's really important that they line up uh, exactly because she's going to be going down and then she's going to stop right here at the four. And that's what this is. Let her stop. So I've, I've got stop here as a, as a template move setting and then delete filter effects from objects. So I'm turning off the transparency so she's back to normal. Yay. And that was it. Um, I had got ladder up and ladder down from ladder stop. So you're stopped on the ladder. If you press down, you'll go down. And uh, if you release down, you'll go back to stopping. <laughs> and same with ladder up, right? If you're pressing down, you'll go or up. Sorry. If you're pressing up, you'll go up. And then if you're pressing um, uh, or if you release up, then you stop. Right. And stop is actually set to motion ladder idle. This was important to achieve the look that she's climbing because otherwise either she'd be looping. Right. So this would be like this is forever. Right. Uh, when she's going up and down. This one had to be the second frame of that animation. Otherwise, it overlapped and it didn't seem like she was moving at all. It's really hard to explain. <laughs> I could show you, but uh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Um, and then this is idle. So she just kind of stays in this pose when she's stopped. And then finally, we have ladder up to hole. And this one is if uh, she's at the bottom, right? And going up, up to the hole. <laughs> I named these a little silly, but what are you going to do? So this one starts at, well, first it starts at ladder snap, right? They all start at ladder snap. This goes to ladder stop if uh, she's not doing anything. And then it goes straight to ladder up because we're pressing the up button, right? And then... If she's pressing the up button, she's in ladder up. If the area detection is five, which is this one, if she hits five, and I should actually say when object touches the wall, tiles wall detection instead of this overlap. I mean, it's working, so I don't know, but whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um, so she's um, right. She's on five. Then it does the ladder up to hole, which is another move route, another move route. So move up this time. So move up forever, go transparent, and you're through. Also, you've got you've got through on, which means you can go through the tiles, and then stop when you uh, are on seven. So seven is this one. Okay, so when you're on seven, so you're going up, 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 and then you hit seven, stop. You're free. You're free. It's not on six because if she kept going up, and then I said stop on six. Uh, then she would get stuck in a loop of having to go right back down the ladder because of the, the condition. If she's on six, then set the move route down. <laughs> so I set it to seven right above the ladder. So if you're following this, I don't know how you're following this, <laughs> but if you are, make sure that your ladder has like a top part uh, so that you can stop them. 
Okay, so she stopped at seven. So you go up, up to the hole and you stop, right? You stop at seven. And now we're at ladder stop with this condition. If uh, area detection is four, if area detection is six, uh, except it's set to if they're not. Sorry, that wasn't very clear. <laughs> if, uh, if any condition, so if they're not on four and they're not on six, then go back to idle. Does that make sense? <laughs> it it took like all day for me to get this. I'll have you. I'll, uh, it's so simple. It's so simple when when it's finished, but it took so long. <laughs> Lots of watching videos and um, it was mostly videos. That's the only resource that Pixel Game Maker has right now is is videos from some people and some you know resources on itch that are free, which is nice, but. It was it was interesting. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun to figure it out. But I'm happy with it. I'm so happy because now I have this tile that I can put anywhere and I don't have to actually do anything. You know what I mean? So I can I can say that I can I can just put yeah, let's do it. Let's just put uh the top of a ladder here. It doesn't matter. And then put the bottom of the ladder. Again, it has to be directly underneath or it won't work. I'll put that there and that's not going to work. I'm going to have to do like that. So it looks nice. You got to make sure it looks nice, you guys. Like that. Okay, so like anywhere I put it, it can be long or short. Oh. You know why that happened? It's because I'm on the above layer. Sorry. <laughs> it's still making mistakes. Even Even as confident as I am, I was on the above layer. You should really keep this on. So you can see what layer you're on, but uh, <laughs> so embarrassing. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So let's bring this down, let's bring this down. And then I'll copy this middle rung and I'll just bring it up. This is totally optional. I don't actually have to do that, but I will because it looks nice. And let's go, it'll work this time, I promise. Yeah, there we go. And then she stops and I can put this anywhere and that's wonderful. There's a few things I don't like about it. I don't like uh, the delay in her becoming, um, not transparent because I kind of want her to become not transparent before because I mean I know the reason is because seven is right here um the rest of it seems fine I also have to fix this part so if you're moving around well that one was easy but sometimes you can't get up on the ladder like here you have to be like right up on it I can imagine that'll get really annoying for some people. <laughs> uh, so there's still a few things I need to fix, but for the most part, it is functional and we can walk around my map and just go up and down ladders and have a good time. I'm excited about it. Can you tell, can you tell how excited I am? <laughs> all right, I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about today was the ladders. I hope you enjoyed my, uh, not very thorough explanation of how I did it, <laughs> but maybe you learned something and you can you can take what I did and, and maybe apply it to your own situation. Or I don't know, maybe it inspired you to make a ladder in real life. That'd be cool, right? Go make ladders. Go, go out there and make some ladders, guys, and be proud of your work. I will talk to you later, I guess. <laughs> Bye.